All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so called black man, all right? And what we and what we have right here is a woman, a so-called black woman who just had enough and snapped and was caught eating a cat live on Instagram. OK, so this woman who we're going to hear in the beginning, her cousin calling 911 to report that she is watching her cousin eat a cat live on Instagram which we're later going to find out at the end that, you know, she couldn't take it. You know, her mother died. You know, she lost her children, you know, whether it's a DCF or some other entity. And, you know, she just snapped, you know, and went off on the deep end, man. You see? So, you know, she put it on a show for everyone to see. And this is just what happens, man, when there's no vision. OK, it tells us that. Matter of fact, let's get it. Let's go there. Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs 29. Verse. Proverbs 29. Verse. 18. When there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So what you're going to see right here is just the beginning, man. Because when Jacob trouble hits, you're going to see seeing a woman eat a cat is going to be the least of your worries. OK, and we're going to go into it. All right. We're going to pull it up, man, because if you're going to flip out when you see a woman eat a cat live on, you know, Instagram, how much more are you going to flip out when you see the woman who birthed a child turn around and eat that child, that baby, that infant? That's what's getting ready to come. OK, the stuff that happened back in 70 A.D. in Masada is getting ready to take place back in, in America. OK, because America is going to feel it the worst, man. You see, when they shut down these cities and they're not letting anything come in and go out and people are uh, are uh, people have to resort to cannibalism. It's going to be a hey, it's going to be a sight to behold if you ain't on the right side, man. You see. That's why it says in Isaiah 33 and 16. Let's get that and then we'll let the video play. It says what? Isaiah 33 and 16 says wisdom. You understand? See, a lot of people that's, you know, having these things happen to them, they lack wisdom, okay? See, this woman don't know that when her mom passed away, her mom went back to the uh, spiritual realm, okay? But under this type of vibration where there's no vision, you know, these type of things could weigh in on you. And then on top of that, she had to be under some type of influence, you know. And we're going to get that as well in 1 Corinthians, when your body is the temple. All right. So Isaiah 33 and 16 reads what? It's like it. Isaiah. Thirty three and six reads in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You see, these people are going to fold and crack under the pressure that's getting ready to come, man. All right. So just seeing this little incident with this woman eating a cat, hey, that's going to be child's play compared to what's getting ready to come down the pike, man. So it says Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure, right? And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the true and living power whose name is Yahweh because he can have you bugged out like this. Eating a cat, you know. And, hey, things are going to get turned up in Jacob's trouble. So let's let the video play. 911, where's your emergency? Um, 1310 Road Court. Um, I'm sorry. I just was watching a live video of my cousin on Facebook, and she's down uh, at her house. She killed the cat and is eating it. I need. I was her. 
and the cat. What did you do? Why did you kill the cat? Stand up. She said she killed two two kids. Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. Someone got rubber gloves. She's covering blood. You see, so the police pulled up and she was bent over, you know, getting the last little piece of that feline that she had to get because she snapped, man. It's going to be wild out here. You see, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the thing that keep you brothers and you few sisters stable, man. Understanding what's getting ready to come. OK, things are finna get wild, man. If you're not on the right side of this equation of this truth, you're going to be ended up like this right here. All right. This is Isaiah 13, 11, and it reads, and I will punish the world for their evil. So the most high man, he's getting ready to bring judgment on this world, man. It says, and the wicked for their iniquity. Hey, <laughs> you individuals that don't want to repent. Speaking of you two third Jakes, this is your outcome. But it, ramp it up times 10, man. Okay. Eating a cat live on Instagram is going to be the least of your worries, man. All right. So Isaiah 13 and 11, and it reads, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. OK, so all you proud women out there, you know, you're going to find yourself in, in, in uh, dire straits, man. You see? You're going to find yourself doing things that you would have never thought that you would uh, be doing in your right mind. Why? Because that that uh, understanding that you have as of now, hey, that's going to leave out the window, man. If you don't have a man of the elect to lead and guide you, you're going to be making these type of decisions and worse in Jacob's trouble. OK, so it says what? And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. That goes for you, uh, proud, proud men as well, man. That's why this thing is only for the elect. OK, it says, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible man. And he's going to bring y'all down to a real low estate, man. Eating a cat. That's the beginning. All right. But wait till shit really starts to, you know, hit the fan. And you got to eat your own offspring. That's going to be some wild stuff, man. Okay. So let's read, let's read it one more time and then let it play. Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Okay. Hey, I don't know who had that song back in the day where it says I ain't too proud to beg. But when this come, hey, your pride, gonna, your pride going to be put down, man. And you're going to be looking for answers and can't find it. It says, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Let it play. All right, you got gloves. You got rubber gloves. Yeah, check one. Nine five. Nine five. Ninety five. Yeah, one in custody. Where do you live at? Twenty two fifty five hours. Cuff her up. Please, please.
Cal Car, just be advised there were two sets of handcuffs left in the front desk area. Handcuff clear, 22 from 7. Hold on. So you have a right to remain silent on anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney if you can't afford one, won't be appointed to you at the state's expense. You have a right to have that attorney present during any questioning. You have a right to stop answering any questions once they begin. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand? Smile for me. Go like this. All right. <clears throat> and she's smiling, you know, and showing her teeth. And on another video, you could see some of the blood on the teeth from the cat that she was eating. Okay. And towards the end of this video, the cop said that when he pulled up, she had the fur of the cat in her mouth. Okay. So as we read in Isaiah uh, 13 and 11, I will lay low the uh, haughtiness, the pride of the haughtiness. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 56. Part of the curses. It reads Deuteronomy 28 and 56. The tender and delicate women among you, which would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness, delicateness, and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. All right. So this is showing you that our women are under these curses, man, because at one point in time, this woman and rest and the rest of our women would never dare be caught in a position like this. OK, yet alone in today's time, the way they dress, the way they act. That's why the most high is going to bring forth, you know, that judgment and going to put the haughtiness of the pride to shame, man. All you career driven women, all you don't need a, a man, woman, we going to see in that day, man. OK, the most high is going to bring that pride to the ground and we reading it and we seeing it firsthand. Verse 57, Deuteronomy 28 and 57. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. So this is speaking in regards to, you know, the, the infant, the baby. It says, and toward her children, which she shall bear. What else? For she shall, so like you, for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. So this woman that you see eating this cat is a prelude to coming that's coming towards all you powerful women out there. Okay. That don't need a man. That's not shame face that think they don't uh, equal grounds with a man that let your career take over. You getting ready to see this times 10, man. You're going to be in such dire straits that you can't, you know, and I know you saying right now, I'll never eat my uh, child. You saying that right now because everything is fine and dandy. But wait till those hunger pains come. Wait till you got uh five, six, seven different, you know, children by seven different baby daddies, and your children are starving, and you gotta, you know, cook one of them to keep the other ones from, you know, going hungry. Then we gonna see, okay? You could talk, you could talk that good crap right now when everything is going fine and dandy, but wait till when things are going to hell in a handbasket when you got multiple kids to feed and you got to find out how you going to get the food you know are you going to sacrifice one to feed the other are you going to just let them all go you know starve and, and watch them all you know uh perish these are the decisions that you women gonna have to be uh forced to make okay let's read that again Deuteronomy 28 and 57 and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, which is what? That come up out of her box. You know what it is. And toward her children, which she shall bear. For she shall, for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. Right. And this happened in 70 AD and it's going to happen again. Okay. Wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in thy gates, right? And Yahweh Shai told us that 
when you should see your enemies, you know, those uh, that are not your, uh, when you should see your enemies surround the cities, then flee, okay? But you know, a lot of our people are gonna still try to stay in these major cities because, you know, it's been uh, uh, convenient for them and those troops are going to come in and shut down the cities and going to lock down stuff and you're going to be left, okay? Because they ain't letting nothing come in and they're not letting nothing go out. So you're going to pretty much have to fend for yourself, okay? And on top of that, you're going to have uh, riots. You're going to have uh, pestilence. You ain't going to have no other option but to eat your offspring, okay? So it says what? It says, wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. And the enemy, the Most High is allowing to do this to you. Okay, to what? To bring, to bring down that pride, man. Okay, so get ready, you know. Yeah, this is a little bit disturbing, but it needs to, okay, to wake you up. All right, and not only you women, but, you know, the men as well, man. Because there's a lot of proud men out there as well, man. You know, scoffing the servants, the prophets, you know, you're going to get yours too. All right. You're going to get yours too. This is an embodiment. This is an, this is an embodiment of all the two thirds, man, especially in America. You're going to be left to eat a cat. Okay. A cat is a representation of something you don't want, but you have to, because why? You don't have you no know, wisdom. You have no knowledge and you're not going to be stable in that time. All right. This is your outcome. Look, see it. Okay. She's grilling. Like I said, on other videos, uh, reporting the same thing, you can see a little blood on her teeth, man. You see? Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? Get in there. It's ridiculous. Kitty, you're safe. Did you guys see all this? No, we pulled up and she was just laying there with me. Did you see her eating it? She was eating it? Yeah. She said, but it's blood on her. She said she stumped it out. Yeah. Well, you don't kill a cat and go to the hospital. You go to jail. Southwest with uh, Sam 401 just eating it like a savage, you know? And that's how the Most High look at you, individuals that, you know, eat stuff like lobster, shrimp, and crab. No different, okay? 1 Corinthians 3 and uh, verse 16, and it reads, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, <clears throat> him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. Right. So, you know, you saying that this is uh, disgusting and, and despicable. Well, the same way with you that just eating, you know, crabs and, and, and uh, pigs, swine and all this, un, you know, all this abominable food. The same thing. Okay. Same thing as if you was to, you know, catch a pig and what? Slaughter it and eat it raw. It's the same thing, okay? That's why when Jacob's trouble hit, this is going to be your outcome, okay? A lot of you individuals right now that's watching this video saying this is disgusting, you're going to be catching them cats and rats in the woods back there and eating them just like this lady, man. You know, a lot of you individuals out there Oh, that's disgusting. I would never do that. Okay, <laughs> we gonna see. You see, every idle word that you say, you're gonna have you're gonna have to have an answer for it. You ain't repenting if you still if you still to this day, August the twenty fifth, two thousand and twenty four, eating shrimp, lobster, crab, uh, pork chops, uh, you name it, anything that's not lawful. You're going to find yourself eating this same type of stuff right here. 
Okay? Cat. Rat. Bats. It all. It's, it's, it says it. Okay? It's going to be uh, individuals eating, eating mice. Okay? This is going to be your fate, man. This is going to be your fate because you have no faith right now. Okay? You want to continue to eat and, you know, be rebellious. This is going to be your fate. This is what you got to look forward to. Okay? Some may say, well, she's on drugs. Well, that may be. All right? She's not sober. She's not in her right mind. Why? Because she has no wisdom, knowledge, and stability. Like I said, this is a prelude to all you individuals out there right now. <laughs> That's rejecting the word. You're not going to be in your right mind. Once Jacob hit, once Jacob's trouble hit, this is going to be your fate times 10 even and even worse. Okay? So let's read that again. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High and that the spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? Slack <clears throat> it. And if you did, you will understand the importance of what you put into your body, man. You wouldn't be putting all these abominable foods that is spoken of in Leviticus and Deuteronomy that we shouldn't be eating. Okay? But yet, you claim for the culture, you know, you like to try different cultures and different, you know, varieties of foods from different places around the world. You don't know what you're eating. Okay? You could be eating gator. They sell that off, they sell that off as a delicacy. Lobster. Okay? But... Because it's a cat, it's a house cat, you know, it's it's looked at and frowned upon. But when times get hard, you're going to, hey, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what does it say? Uh, let, let, uh, it says, uh, judge not lest you be judged. You same individuals that don't keep the law and, you know, you frowned upon her. We're going to see what type of uh, dire straits you put in in that day, okay? So, hey. <laughs> this is coming, man. For all you non uh repent repentful, you know, Israelites that don't have to that say you don't need to repent, it's going this going to be your judgment then some, all right? So it says 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of the most high, him shall the most high destroy, right? And he gonna, he, hey, the most I can have you out of your mind, man, out of your wits. You looking at it right now, okay? You looking at an individual that's not all the way there, all right? And some of you going to have the same fate if you don't repent. It says what? If any man defile the temple of the most high, him shall the most high destroy. For the temple of the most high is holy, which temple ye are, okay? All right, Jake? You a hey, your temple belongs to the most high, man. You know, you putting tattoos on it, you eating all type of abominable food, you sleeping around with other men's wives, you know. This is all gonna lead to you and your destruction during Jacob's trouble. And even if you get past it, those missiles, all right? Let's listen some more play. Two hours. You guys have never seen a reporter in there? No. Two hours. I've seen her over there, but I don't know like, what exactly. Will you call the Humane Society to see if they'll come pick those cat up? It's deceased. Copy. They will not pick up a deceased animal. It'll just have to be disposed of, but we can call them that. Uh, two, three, four advised me they would, and they'll hold it as evidence. Ten, four, we'll explain the circumstances to them. Absolutely ridiculous. And let me just say this. This is why we fear the most high, man. <laughs> this is why we fear the most high, because it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the true and living power, man. He could have you like this right here, okay? Just remember what he did to, uh, I believe it was Nebuchadnezzar, had him, you know, crawling on the ground like an animal with, you know, uh, hair growing out and like long claws, like 
The most high is not somebody you want to mess around with, man. You see? So this is why we fear the most high. All right, let it play. All right, have a good night, folks. What the fuck? Will you guys go check our house? Yeah. Yeah, we got her. Yeah, she's going to jail. Yeah. I mean, clearly she's going through something, but. It, some, maybe she's going through something mentally. Bro, she lost her mom. Kids down, killed themselves. Yeah. She gave her kids to somebody. You know what I mean? She tried to go get herself right mentally. So she doesn't have her kids because she was telling people she killed them. No, she did. she never killed her kids. Her okay. kids were the family. You see, and this is what happened when you don't have the wisdom of the Most High, along with the knowledge, you are unstable, man. You see, all the stuff that she went through, you know, was enough to have her, you know, succumb to this type of behavior. All right. You know, where she was found eating, <laughs> eating a cat, which is going to be the least of individuals like this worries, man. You know, but this just all goes to show you that, hey. Play around if you want to, and you can end up like her or even Nebuchadnezzar that what was turned into like a beast, man, where he had, you know, hair growing off, tall hair, uh, hairs growing from uh, like eagle's feather and his nails was like bird claws. He was like a like a damn beast, man. All right. The most high is not someone you want to mess up with, man. Mess around with. OK, so let's let it go on. She sent them to somebody to try to go get herself together. Mm -hmm. That person she sent them with was fucking beat with. Mm -hmm. They went somewhere else. Okay. So, uh, Sorry, I, don't know. I don't know yet. Judy said they would, and they'll hold the cat as evidence. She destroyed that cat. Yeah. Yeah. This is fucked. I told him, I don't like him anymore. <laughs> as long as... Hey, God. Yeah, you know what's bad with Esau says, Elf. You know, he's 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 the vilest of the vilest, and even he and even he was taken by surprise, man. I have she had cat hair on her mouth. As long as I've been a policeman, I've never had a call where someone was eating a cat. I hope this does not set the mood for uh the Friday night. <laughs> <that we> <sighs> Alright. Thanks, guys. Okay. I believe that's it. <clears throat> Let's close out in first Peter. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, and it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Right, and that's why you women, you know, you're going to need a man in that time, man. It tells us in Isaiah the 32nd chapter, if I'm not mistaken, that what? A man should be... I, uh, Isaiah 32 and 2, it says, And a man shall be a, as in hiding place from the wind, and a cover from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And this is speaking of an elect man. OK, you women, if you ain't, you know, that's why uh, seven women is going to take hold of one man, because it's going to be a hey, in that time, wisdom, knowledge and stability is going to be above anything that you can have, man. You see, and. If you don't have a man of the elect, forget about it. Talking to you women, okay? Your chances of survival are slim to none. And when the missiles come, it's going to be none, okay? And you men, because you got powerful men out there too that think they are self-made millionaires that don't want to give Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah no credit at all that think they're going to deliver themselves. But, hey, there's a judgment coming for you as well because it says as a... Uh, it says, what? What do I see? With every man with his hand on his waist, like a woman in travail, 
hey, you men that are not of the elect, it ain't going to be pretty for you either, man. You see? So that's why it's imperative, you know, get this wisdom knowledge while you can, because once the lights go off and Babylon the great, like they say, hey, the light, when the lights go out, the freaks come out. You're going to see some stuff that's going to really blow your mind, man. All right. So let's finish up in uh, first Peter. First Peter <clears throat> five and verse eight. <clears throat> Slack you. It reads, be sober, be vigilant. <clears throat> You know, because, hey, you can, hey, this is what happened when you take too many pills, man. You know, it tells us in, in Isaiah 5 and verse 11, if I'm not mistaken, it says, Woe to them that get up and drink, uh, chase strong wine in the morning all the way into the evening. Okay, when you uh, take something more than what you're supposed to take, you are no longer sober, man. All right, whether it's chasing strong drink, or wine all throughout the day, whether it's popping pills all throughout the day, whether it's anything that's not good for your body, your temple, you are no longer in control, man. All right. And that's when those uh, evil spirits start to come in and take over. OK, there be spirits created just for vengeance. OK, and the most high allows them spirits to do this to you. OK, so that's why it's imperative that you be sober, be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. Without wisdom, knowledge, and stability, you are easy. You are an easy candidate for that. <clears throat> you are an easy candidate. Okay? So that's why, it's, yo, this truth is it, man. <laughs> you know, you ain't going to find this type of uh, advice and warnings in any other book, you know? That's why it says the Bible, it doesn't need any other mate. It stands alone by itself, okay? So it tells us the stuff, it tells us the stuff that's getting ready to come, all right? And this right here is gonna be child's play, man. Like I said, hey, you're gonna have women eating their own kids, man, eating their own children, all right, to make that sacrifice for the rest of their children. Okay, it's gonna be hey, it's gonna be hectic out there, all right? But through this truth, we get understanding and we're gonna be stable in that time because we already know exactly what's coming, and we understand. That, hey, if we are the elect, the Most High going to take care of us. Isaiah 65 and 13. My servants shall eat, but you shall starve, man. You see? So we understand and we have faith, okay? And by doing so, you see the works that we do, okay? Because we don't just say we have faith and don't have anything to, you know, substantiate that claim. No, you have to have works to go along with your faith, okay? Because faith without works is dead, man. All right? So... You know, with that being said, I pray someone was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We're almost home. Shalom. Peace.